Hi, the purpose of this video is to review how you do graph paper programming in preparation for our Hour of Code next week. We're going to be using these symbols, arrows, to indicate which direction our arm should move and when to fill in the blocks. The arrows, as a quick review, indicate this picture, move one square right, this picture, one square left, this arrow, move one square up, this arrow, one square down, and this symbol is a squiggly arrow, means fill that square, square in with color. The first activity, you will choose one of these six images. I'm going to start with image number one. This is the image that I want my partner to recreate, and I'm going to show her using arrows. I'm going to draw the arrows in this blank space. And remember, when we write code, just like when we read code, we always move left to right, just like a sentence. We always start in the top left of the paper grid. So if I start in the top left, my first move will be move one square right. Also remember, there is more than one possibility to solve these problems. I need to color in that square, so I do my squiggle arrow. And then now I am in this box. I'm going to move one square right again, and again color it. Now from here I have two different choices, right, down, color, or down, right, color. I'm going to do right, down, color. So now you can see I'm at the edge of my paper and I need to make a new line so I go down here. Again, this is the spot I'm in. I need to go left one, two, three times. That looks like left one, two, three times. Then I will color that in. Excellent. This is the code that I will give to my partner. When she follows this code, it's going to look like this. On the grid paper, next to the code, remember we always start in the top left corner with the farthest left symbol. I'm going to move one square right and color this box. Then I'm going to move right again and color it. Then I'm going to move right, down, color. So I go right, down, and I color the box that I'm in. 